Imagine traversing the sun-drenched plains of prehistoric Africa. The air is damp, steam seeps from the muddy river, and silence hangs over the water. And suddenly, a giant mouthful of razor-sharp teeth emerges from the current. This is not a monster from a movie. This is reality from 112 million years ago. Meet Sarcosuchus imperator, the largest known crocodile in history, a creature that not only shared the world with dinosaurs, but hunted them. Sarcosuchus grew to be 9.5 meters long and weighed up to around 4,500 kilograms. That would make it twice the size of the largest modern crocodiles. If it stood next to a living saltwater crocodile, it would look like an adult with a preschooler. It was as long as an articulated bus, and its skull was almost 1.8 meters long, longer than the average human. Its mouth was packed with more than 130 conical teeth, perfect for grabbing and crushing large prey. Its entire body was covered in bony armor plates that acted as natural armor. One of the most astonishing discoveries was that Sarcosuchus grew much longer than modern crocodiles. Analysis of growth rings in its bones suggests that it took about 50 to 60 years to reach full size. By comparison, modern crocodiles reach adulthood at 10 to 15 years. That means that Sarcosuchus was not only huge, it was also, by reptile standards, long-lived. For decades, it was a growth machine, slowly turning into one of the greatest predators of all time. Older individuals may have been even larger than those we know from fossils today. The name Sarcosuchus comes from Greek and literally means meat crocodile. It was an active predator that could strike with great force and catch its prey off guard like a spring. Its prey primarily fell on giant Cretaceous fishes, but it didn't limit itself to aquatic life. Studies of its teeth indicate that it was an opportunistic predator that also took terrestrial prey. Young herbivorous dinosaurs, small theropods, and perhaps even pterosaurs that flew too close to the water. We don't know if it leapt out of the water like modern crocodiles, but its build suggests it was a master of the ambush. It would wait, motionless, nose just below the surface for its prey to get too close. Then it would move with lightning speed, a snap of the jaws that could snap bones with a single snap. The first fossils of Sarcosuchus were discovered in 1964 in Niger, in the Sahara Desert, which in the Cretaceous was a lush river delta. But the real breakthrough came in 2000, when paleontologist Paul Serino, during an expedition, came across an almost complete skeleton, including a huge skull and dozens of osteoderms. This discovery allowed us to estimate its size, lifestyle, and place in the evolutionary tree. Interestingly, Sarcosuchus is not a direct ancestor of today's crocodiles, but a representative of a side, extinct line. Although it spent most of its life in the water, its strong limbs suggest that it could have crawled on land, moving between bodies of water and perhaps even patrolling the shores for weaker prey. Its armored body acted as a natural shield, fending off attacks from other large reptiles that shared its habitat, such as Spinosaurus and giant fish-eating dinosaurs. Like every legend, Sarcosuchus had its end. As Africa's climate began to change in the late Cretaceous, the wetlands and rivers that were its home began to dry up. As habitats shrank and food chains changed, Sarcosuchus populations declined. Additionally, the emergence of more specialized crocodilomorphs may have meant competition for resources. As a result, this giant disappeared from the face of the Earth long before the asteroid impact that ended the era of dinosaurs.